In Like a Lion, Out Like a Lamb by Marion Dane Bauer Illustrated by Emily Arnold McCulley March comes with a roar. He rattles your windows and scratches at your door. He turns snow to mud, then tromps across your floor. March comes with winter clinging to his tail. He scatters sleet and sometimes even hail. Were you expecting spring? He snickers. Reach for your slickers. March comes with a pounce and a growl. Just step outside and hear him howl. If you howl back, will he go away? Not very likely. This lion means to stay and stay and stay. Then one soft morning, wind gives way to breeze. Buds pop out on trees. The air is full of chickadees and bumblebees. And the lion takes a whiff, a sniff, and lets out an enormous sneeze. And guess who comes riding in, gliding in, striding in on that uh, 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 choo! So, where will the March Lion go? Will he wander to and fro, defeated and lost, predicting frost? Or will he skulk through the greening grass? Eyes scheming, teeth gleaming, waiting for the lamb to pass. No, never. This fellow is much too clever. He finds himself a sunny spot. He stretches, yawns, and curls into a knot. And that rumbling noise you hear? Never fear. This lion is done with roaring. And now he's snoring. At least until next year. Today the lamb is in charge of grass and flowers, sunshine and showers, of babies small and large. Come all you babies, just hear March sing. Ba, she says. Ba and ba again. It's spring. Ha 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 The end.